Today, L.A. Mayor Bear Bass signed an executive directive for a new $100 million program she's calling Inside Safe. The five goals of the program include reducing the loss of life on our streets, increasing access to mental health and substance abuse treatment for those living in encampments, eliminating street encampments, promoting long-term housing stability for people experiencing homelessness, and enhancing the safety and hygiene of neighborhoods for all residents, businesses, and neighbors. People should not be left to live and die on the streets because the city isn't giving them some place to go. Today we are giving people safe places to move inside with ongoing support so that they can say, stay inside and safe for good. City officials plan to use master leasing with motels near encampments in dire need of help. Various citywide departments will then find interim and permanent housing. Report on an action plan is due back to the mayor's office by March. To discuss more about this, we are joined live now by L.A. County Supervisor Hilda Solis. Supervisor, thanks for being with us. Hi, how are you, Alex? Good to, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Um, you know, we've been talking about homelessness together for years. Uh, we've heard so many different plans come and go. We've seen a lot of money spent on this. Is it different this time? And if so, what makes it different? I think there's a new energy, and I really do feel the enthusiasm, but more than that, a very focused and strategic plan by our mayor. Uh, even before she, be, she became mayor, she was out there visiting some of our locations where we were already standing up interim housing and permanent housing. So I know that she is very tedious and studious about where and what she wants to do. So I give her a lot of credit for that because. I've had on occasions uh, been able to sponsor her as well as people from the Biden administration to come out and see some of the things that the county has been doing in the city of L.A. to help provide interim housing as well as permanent housing. And I want to say that one facility it, it, that is of well note is on the Vigness Street where we created 232 units of housing. She came out there four or five times bringing cabinet secretaries, members of Congress, and she understands how working with the county and the city, we can help expedite projects in six months time, record time that we did that. She knows that we can get this done working hand in hand, lock arm with her, locking arms with her, but also knowing that we have a, we have a obligation to the residents of the city of Los Angeles. And while I represent the county, I also represent a large portion of downtown and more importantly, all of Skid Row. So it is very important to me. Yeah, and, and we know that uh, Karen Bass came to the County Board of Supervisors meeting and met with you all a, a couple days ago. This inside safe plan, what specifically does that mean for people in your district? What are they going to be seeing? Well, my understanding is that, first of all, it isn't just about sweeping people up and out. It's about providing them also with the tools and providing them shelter. So you can't just take people out and move them uh, you know, away or to some other section of the city, but it's also making sure that we guarantee that they have housing. So that's the solution. And I think that you know our governor did a great job with this, and so did the administration, the Biden administration, by giving us access to funding to open up motels and hotels where we could provide individuals with their own safe haven, where they could have their own restroom, their bed, everything that they needed personally instead of just a congregate setting. That, that to me, is proof that these, this can work because I've seen it work already. And that's what people really want. They want privacy, confidentiality, but they also want to have, we need to provide them with wraparound services. Yeah. And that's what I think Karen Brass, Karen Bass brings to the table, understanding what it means overall, the wraparound services, and the fact that we have to work hand in hand with the county. County can't do everything, sure. neither can she, but we're gonna call on everyone else to help us. And I'm in, I'm in on the game. And, and those wraparound services are help for people that may be uh, drug addicted or mentally ill that need help desperately. Uh, while we and have you, I wanna talk about one other issue too, cause we're gonna run out of time. Uh, there was this okay. story uh, about puppy named Bowie, uh, who was Bowie. accidentally euthanized at an L.A. County shelter. We have mm -hmm. seen uh, pictures recently of the shelters just being overrun. I know you're investigating. What happened here? It ha it's unfortunate. It happened in our Baldwin Park facility, our animal shelter there. And we know that we have to do a better, we have to do better 
uh, systems of care for these animals. Uh, they should not be uh, randomly euthanized. And we need to be following other protocols that will allow for people to adopt them and allow people to come in. And as I know, we're coming out of COVID, it's hard to now get people back in, but we want more people to come in and adopt these pets. Because some of them, this poor, uh, this poor puppy was only three weeks old. And I get it, these pets um, can be used, and not used, but providing a, a better wholesome environment for them, but also we can utilize them in different ways to even provide treatment for some of our kids that we have in our probation camps. Uh, we talked about that at the same time we were discussing this item. So yes, we want to report back, this should not happen. We should be following up on orders that say, you don't have to euthanize, that should be the first uh, option. We should be figuring out how we do this and we get volunteers in and, and staff up this appropriate program so that we can have more people helping us identify guardians and parents who want to take over these pets. I yeah. think during the pandemic, I can tell you, they played a big role in many lives of our mm -hmm. families, including my own. And I just want to tell you how important it is for us to stand up for these pets. And I, I feel bad that not just Bowie, but other animals were put to uh, sleep. And we shouldn't have to stand for that. And we do have to provide funding, significant funding, yeah. but also best practices. And you know what? The county has to step up. So that was that is what my motion was all about, doing that. All right. L.A. County Supervisor Hilda Solis, former member of Congress, former Secretary of Labor, thank you so much for being on with us. And we hope you'll be back with us soon.